It's a good thing Megalodons aren't around anymore because if that was the case, no one would ever dare venture into the ocean. At least not to swim, at least. 82 meters, 82 meters. Oh my gosh, it's massive. When a shark can grow up to 18 meters long and they have terrifying teeth, what more can you say? Well, today we'll be talking about current creatures that can maybe give this beast a run for his money with 15 sea monsters that are scarier than the Megalodon. Cosmic Jellyfish To some people, the texture of a jellyfish would be more creepy than a Megalodon. There must be someone that would say that, right? This amazing cosmic jellyfish was found during the exploration of the U2 Seamount, 2.3 miles beneath the surface. The jelly is known for sometimes having two sets of tentacles. The relaxed arrangement of the two sets of tentacles is a position that allows for optimum feeding in the midwater environment at 3,000 meters. Through remotely operated vehicle video observations, such as this, we can learn much about the animals in the water and what they're up to so they can catch them in an undisturbed way. There's a possibility that the jellyfish could be a species previously unknown to science. It's potentially new. There really is no way to be absolutely sure about it, though, because specimens would need to be observed under a microscope. The logic behind classing this creature as a separate species is that, while they typically have gonads distributed along eight canals, this little creature has gonads extending only along the outer half of these canals. Basically, this all means studying ocean life is very hard, but we bet you knew that already. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. And now it's time for our missing topic. This image we found online of a freak sea monster very close to a diver. We're not sure what this is, but our guess is it's a giant sunfish. This photo might be slightly edited for scale, but the name giant sunfish got it from somewhere, right? Well, because they're massive. But the diver in this photo might be bigger than they look. What kind of fish would you want to dive with? You can join the conversation by using the hashtag missing topic in the comments section below. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Giant Shipworm About three feet long with a black and pink fleshy appendage, it looks like the entrails of an alien from a cheesy 80s horror film. This creature called a giant shipworm and was discovered in the middle of a shallow lagoon in the Philippines. A living creature of the species has never been described before, even though its existence has been known for more than 200 years, thanks to fossils. For centuries, a slimy black tube-shaped creature the size of a baseball bat has been eluding scientists. They had examined its external shell, but never laid eyes on the scary physique hidden inside until now. Despite its name, it's not actually a worm but a bivalve, a kind of water mollusk, enclosed in its shell, and one mysterious breed at that. It's sort of the unicorn of mollusks. It's quite heavy. It's like picking up a tree branch or something even heavier. The giant chipworms were once found all over the globe, but we're not certain how many are left. On top of that, the outside tubes are worth a good price among shell collectors. Its jet black color is odd because most of these species are light cream colors. It's also extremely muscular despite the fact that it lives its life in a shell. Previously, the best information we had was based on drawings of a poorly preserved specimen from the 1960s. Imagine having this wrap around you. No thanks. <laughs> lizard fish What would you do if you came face to face with a deep sea lizard fish? If we're honest with ourselves, the answer probably includes swimming away as fast as possible. With their massive protruding teeth and dark eyes, these don't exactly seem inviting. But these deep sea dwellers are definitely worth learning about. This creature was found 6,900 feet deep in the ocean. It's the world's deepest living super predator. Anything it meets, it eats, which includes even its own kind. This terrifying creature has both male and female organs. Very sharp fangs can be found on this fish's jaws, and even its tongue is a clear warning to not get close. Lizardfish are ambush predators, lying in wait for unlucky prey to cross their path before attacking. Once prey is caught, their teeth force the catch deeper into their mouths. They're found in deep waters around the world, except for around the poles. But you don't need to be at high latitudes to get cold water. Deep water is cold enough. Deep sea lizardfish live in temperatures around 38 degrees Fahrenheit. 
They grow to up to 15 to 23 inches long, but the largest recorded lizard fish was 33 inches long and weighed 15 pounds. Hopefully, learning more about deep sea lizard fish has given you a new appreciation for these big toothed, stealth striking predators. If you're looking for more fish to fuel your nightmares, look no further than these scary creatures. <laughs> Colossal Squid The Kraken, the mythical beast of the sea, is really just looking at these. The giant squid lives in the dark depths of the ocean, and very little is known about them to this day. Most of what the world has learned about the massive monster, which can grow up to 40 feet long and live in a world with no sunlight, is taken from the carcasses or from the belly of sperm whales. Until 2005, no scientists have ever got a photo of a living giant squid. One was finally filmed in 2013. But scientists believe there are at least a million of them out there. The colossal squid is only rarely captured in deep sea fisheries targeting other species. In almost every case, they've been caught trying to feed on hooked fish rather than in nets. This species is not targeted commercially and is likely naturally rare. In 2007, a six and a half foot long washed up in Tasmania. With its tentacles, it measured 26 feet, the same length as a bus, so meeting this in dark depths would be just as scary as a megalodon. <laughs> sea Cucumbers Sea cucumbers are incredibly weird animals. For starters, they're actually shaped like cucumbers. Maybe that's why they're named after them. Just maybe. Their peers, the starfish, arguably have a bit more going on in the looks department, but that doesn't mean that they don't still have some incredibly interesting characteristics. They have no faces or even eyes, just a digestive tract with a hole at either end in a body that resembles a turd. So that's creepy enough, right? And their entire life revolves around sucking up the seafloor and popping it right back out again. Sea cucumbers are scavengers that feed on small food items around the seafloor as well as plankton floating in the water. Algae, aquatic invertebrates, and waste particles make up their diet. They eat with tube feet that surround their mouths. Scientists have found it nearly impossible to track their movements. If you stick a tag or tracking device in them, they just extrude it out from their skin. It's like they're hiding some big secret. They just don't want to be studied. And then sometimes they even shrink. If a sea cucumber is starving, instead of giving up, it just eats itself, gradually becoming smaller and smaller. The megalodon can't eat itself because that would be too scary. <laughs> Ghost Shark The chimera, or ghost shark, exhibits a morphology unlike any other creature. They're named after a Greek monster that's made up of parts of different creatures, with seemingly only one gill on either side of their body, no scales, and eyes that are backed with a tissue layer that make them seem to glow in the dark. They have a spooky and ghost-like appearance. They seem to move like ghosts as well. Rather than most sharks that propel using their tails, ghost sharks use their large, wing-like fins to glide through the water, a trait more like a bird than a fish. Their large eyes give off a greenish glow, which helps vertebrates see better in low-light environments. The shark's maximum observed length is about 49 inches, but scientists believe they can grow to be more than 6 feet. They've been around long before dinosaurs, but scientists know little about them. These animals are sometimes targeted, usually in coastal waters. They're also caught when deep sea nets are used. With little knowledge of these animals, it's difficult for scientists and managers to understand their population health and help with management and conservation. If only these sharks were actually like ghosts and would just swim through us instead of being able to eat our flesh. Bear alive fish. At first glance, these fish might look more like an alien creature than anything from Earth, but this elusive fish is a real creature and it lives extremely deep in our oceans. The barrel eye or spook fish lives in the deep sea and has a unique way of making use of the tiny amount of light that exists in the deep sea. It has tubular eyes and a transparent head that looks for faint traces of light made by both prey and potential mates, but it also has special reflective parts too and is one of the special visual systems in the animal kingdom. Not bad for a monster that lives mostly in the dark, the barrel eye is also commonly found almost motionless in the water. Their small flat fins allow for maneuvering and may also help them to navigate through the stinging tentacles of local jellyfish where smaller prey may have gotten caught. But there's still so much that researchers do not know about the barrel eye fish. For instance, 
how exactly they see, and how they hunt. For millions of years, they swam hidden in black depths until it was finally discovered by scientists. Who knows what other strange inhabitants still lurk in the dark, waiting to be seen? Six Gill Shark By this name, you can probably guess that it has six gills. This shark has a characteristically blunt rounded snout and six gill slits on either side of its head, instead of the usual five seen in most sharks. One of the larger sharks in the eastern Pacific, these blunt-nosed six gills can stretch over 16 feet long. They sit along the seafloor at depths of about 2,000 meters during the day. These sharks cruise closer to the surface to feed at night. Like many deep-sea sharks, they tend to move slowly to save energy, but can reach higher speeds when chasing sharks, rays, fish, squid, crabs, and seals, but they also have been known to scavenge. This shark is a slow but strong swimmer. Although it's a scary hunter, it still has to stay aware of its own predators. Potential threats include sea lions, killer whales, and the great white shark. Six-gill sharks have been known to feed on each other opportunistically. It's thought that some mechanism for the spatial separation of larger and smaller individuals must be the reason. Eating their own kind? Talk about ruthless. Doubt a megalodon does that. <laughs> Gopher eel. Think of the weirdest, creepiest creature you could imagine. Chances are, the ocean already has something very similar, and that animal probably lives in the dark deep sea. The mysterious gopher eel, also known as the pelican eel, is one of the most unusual deep sea animals. The gopher eel may look like a normal one. It has a long, narrow body that goes back and forth to move through the water. Like other true eels, they're part of 800 species, including moray and garden eels. They're black in color and can reach up to two to three feet long, which isn't that significant compared to other eel species. The European conger, for instance, can reach to almost 20 feet long. They live in the deep sea, ranging from 1,600 to around 10,000 feet below the surface. This eel is much different in appearance from most other eels. Its fins are so tiny as to be believed that the eyes evolved to detect small traces of light rather than form images. The gulper eel also has a very long tail that looks like a whip. In spite of its gigantic mouth, it's believed that the gulper eel's diet consists mainly of small things. Since the eel has very small teeth, it probably does not eat larger fish on a regular basis. The huge mouth may be an adaptation to allow the eel to eat a wider variety of food when it's scarce. It can also be used as a large net. The eel can swim into a large group of shrimp or other fish with its mouth wide open scooping up as it goes. These eels are rare, so we don't know too much about them, but they're found all over the world and are considered a species of least concern, which means they're thought to be at risk of extinction. We need more deep sea research to learn about these odd and fascinating eels. <laughs> Flying Gernard Fish that can walk and forage with their fins? Flying Gernard, the winged fish has huge round pectoral fins the fins are usually held against the body, but when threatened, they expand their wings to scare off a threat. Their wings have a bright blue coloration at their tips, an amazing sight to see moving across the reef. The front part of their unusual pectoral fins looks like the foot of an amphibian, which makes it appear like a member of the lizard family. It also has prominently large eyes with a bright orange color around them. The strangest thing about these unusual fish, though, is their way of moving about and feeding. Rather than swimming, they use their adapted pelvic fins to walk along the seabed in search of food. They're usually found on muddy, sandy, and rocky areas at the bottom of the ocean, as deep as 328 feet, especially when they're scavenging for food. Despite being bottom dwellers, the eggs of flying grenards usually freely float on the surface. Why swim when you can walk, right? Nature can be very odd. <laughs> Glass Octopus Need a reminder that our ocean is full of freaky animals? Look no further than the Glass Octopus. The Glass Octopus is very rarely seen. Found in tropical and subtropical waters around the world, the species gets its name from its almost transparent body, and you can see straight through to the optic nerve, eyes, and digestive tract, which makes for a scary sight. These octopuses mostly live in the aphotic zone, meaning deep waters where sunlight doesn't exist, at around 3,000 feet. 
They can grow to about one and a half feet long and are estimated to live about two to five years. An expedition crew reported two encounters with the glass octopus, an impressive count given that previously there were such limited footage of these clear looking animals. Scientists had to learn about them by studying chunks of them in the gut contents of other predators. The glass octopus is considered one of the least studied octopuses in our oceans. Each new sighting or specimen helps us better understand this elusive species and how they might respond to a changing ocean. <laughs> Giant Sea Spider If you're afraid of spiders and thought the ocean didn't have any, think again. Eight long and lanky legs make it easy to move along the deep sea floor, that's for sure. These giant spiders breathe through the holes in their legs that get bigger as they grow, allowing them to take in more oxygen. Scientists have wondered for years why marine animals that live in the polar oceans and the deep sea can reach giant sizes, but nowhere else. One theory is that animals living in extreme cold can grow to giant sizes because their metabolisms are very slow. They are fairly common in tide pools, but these species are typically small and hard to see. In contrast, deep sea pycnogonids can have long legs that grow to 50 centimeters across. These spiders are quite mobile and can walk or swim using their eight legs. These spiders are predators that feed by sucking the bodily fluids from other marine animals, basically like a vampire. They live all across the globe and can survive in both marine and other environments. Would you rather deal with thousands of these trying to suck your fluids out or fight a vampire? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Black Dragonfish Deep sea dragonfish lurk in the darkest parts of the ocean depths and are capable of having red beams of light coming from their eyes. Good thing they're not like lasers. These awesome looking creatures come from a family of fish that inhabit the ocean depths at an average of 2,000 feet below the surface. They're nasty predators with extremely large teeth compared to their body size. Because they live in extremely deep waters, very little is known about the mating habits of the dragonfish. Not much is known about the lifespan of them either. The dragonfish produces a red light beam using a unique organ located near the rear of its eye and is one of the few deep sea creatures that can perceive red light. Although red light does not travel far underwater, it allows them to sneak up on their prey, especially shrimp, which brightly luminescence beneath red light without being spotted. However, regardless of which technique they use to land their prey, it's clear that these fascinating deep sea hunters are true masters of light in the deep, using their own private wavelength to light up their environment without getting noticed by others to their presence. With all these fish with lights, are the dark depths of the ocean like a non-stop disco party? Tenya Squid Cartoons aren't just for television. Sometimes they infiltrate the deep sea and turn serious sea creatures into buggy-eyed, spiked-haired oddballs. Meet the Tenya Squid, a species of transparent glass squid that lives up to a kilometer below the surface of the North Pacific Ocean. With a pair of soulful blue eyes and a cigar-shaped digestive gland visibly suspended in its bloated, sack-type body, the glass squid has got a real unique look going on. The species is often found with its mass of stumpy tentacles or arms floating above its head. So scientists have given it another great nickname, the cockatoo squid. They're found in the deep midwater below 300 meters, often hanging motionless with their arms above their body. It feeds on just about anything it can catch using the hook-like teeth that run along its arms, including small crustaceans and fish. It's pretty mind-blowing with all the different looking types of squids, and many of them are scary looking that seem like they're from another planet. <laughs> Flamingo Tongue Snail Flamingo Tongue Snail, unlike the name suggested, has nothing to do with flamingos or tongues. It's in fact a marine mollusk. In other words, it's a soft, slimy animal carrying its own home, but living in the ocean. Just like a scuba diving snail, Flamingo tongues are predators that specialize in eating weak corals. They're almost only found on species that can eat, which are typically sea fans, whip corals, and other soft corals. As they crawl along with the bodies of their prey, they eat away the soft tissue, leaving only the coral's skeleton behind. The flamingo tongue's bright colors serve as a warning of its poison to potential predators. Flamingo tongue is still common, however. It's recently getting more and more difficult to find one underwater. Like most aquatic animals, humans became their top enemy. 
Too bad these were not the size of a megalodon, so humans couldn't wipe them out. At least if they were a massive snail, we could just swim away, right? The sea has almost unlimited predators lurking about, and we saw some of the freakiest looking ones. A megalodon is scary for sure, but these creatures were more than just a big shark. What monster here was the creepiest to you? Let us know in the comments. Hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Mm-hmm.